Exercise 10. Brewster, Conway, and Ogden are partners who share income and loss in a 1 to 4 to 5 ratio. After lengthy disagreements among the partners and several unprofitable periods, the partners decide to liquidate the partnership. Immediately before liquidation, the partnership balance sheet shows total assets 124,000, total liabilities 93,000, Brewster Capital 1,800, Conway Capital 13,050, and Ogden Capital 16,150. The cash proceeds from selling the assets were sufficient to repay all but $27,000 to the creditors, and were asked to calculate the loss from selling the assets. We start with our accounting equation, assets equals liabilities plus equity. Before liquidation, we had $124,000 in assets, $93,000 in liabilities, Brewster's capital $1,800, Conway's capital $13,050, and Ogden's capital $16,150. After the liquidation, we still have $93,000 in liabilities, but the amount of assets are $27,000 less than we need to satisfy the liabilities. So if we take 93000 and subtract 27000 we only have $66,000 worth of assets remaining. The amount of the loss, then, is the change in our assets, the drop from 124000 down to 66000 We had a loss of $58,000. The loss account is part of equity. Immediately after liquidation, we still have a $1,800 balance in Brewster's capital account, 13,050 in Conway's, and 16,150 in Ogden. But we also have a debit balance sitting in the loss account. This loss needs to be allocated. To allocate the loss to the partners, we need to use the ratio. They shared income and loss in the ratio of 1 to 4 to 5, a total of 10 parts. 1 tenth, 4 tenths, and 5 tenths will be used to allocate the loss. 1 tenth of a negative 58,000 is a negative 5,800. Four-tenths of a negative 58,000 is a negative 23,200. And five-tenths of a negative 58,000 is a negative 29,000. The loss will be allocated $5,800 to Brewster, $23,200 to Conway, and $29,000 to Ogden. Letter C asks us to determine how much of the remaining liability should be paid by each partner. The original capital balances, 1,800, 13,050, and 16,150. Total capital of 31,000 before the loss allocation. After the loss is allocated, Brewster's capital account will have a debit balance of $4,000. This debit balance represents the portion of the liability to be paid by Brewster. After the loss allocation, the balance in Conway's capital account is a debit balance of 10150 This is the amount of the liability to be paid by Conway. And after the loss allocation, Ogden has a debit balance of 12850 The total liability to be paid is $27,000. $4,000 by Brewster, 10150 by Conway, and 12850 by Ogden.